In this video, we'll see if we can make a flying balloon today on Mystery Lab. Hey guys, welcome back to the lab. In today's video, we're going to be inflating a flying balloon without helium. Alright, so in order to do this experiment, we're actually going to use some aluminum foil, some sodium hydroxide, and some water. Now the sodium hydroxide acts as a catalyst, and that means that it actually makes the reaction go forward. Without sodium hydroxide, if we just added aluminum to water, nothing would happen. But if we have a solution of water and sodium hydroxide, and then we add the aluminum, the aluminum will go through a reaction with the water and the sodium hydroxide, and will actually produce hydrogen gas and sodium aluminate. Now sodium aluminate is a white powdery substance, but when it's in solution, it's going to look like black. So we're actually gonna make what like looks like a black liquid um, after the reaction, but we'll also make some hydrogen gas. So to show you that we're making hydrogen gas during this experiment, we're actually gonna capture that in a balloon. So we're gonna inflate the balloon with the hydrogen gas that's made during the reaction. So if we inflate the balloon large enough, the hydrogen will overcome the weight of this plastic balloon, okay? Now, once that happens, the hydrogen will actually make the balloon float. Um, we're gonna get started with the experiment. So safety first, let's put on our safety equipment. We've got some gloves. We've got our safety glasses. To demonstrate the experiment that we're gonna be doing today, we've got a little small experiment that we're gonna do first. We've got a cup of DI water and we've got a little ball of aluminum foil. So Charlotte, if you put that aluminum in the water, let's see what happens. All right, can you push it down a little bit? Is anything happening? No. All right, so nothing's happening right now. Charlotte, will you take the aluminum out for me? All right, put it off on the side. Okay, now I'm gonna do this next part because sodium hydroxide is actually a pretty dangerous chemical. We don't wanna get it on our skin or anything because it can cause a burn. So I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon, a little bit more of sodium hydroxide to this water. Mix this up. Okay, so we've got a solution of sodium hydroxide and water and we've got our aluminum foil ball. Now Charlotte, will you put the aluminum foil ball into the cup. All right, now stand back, and I'm just going to move this around a little bit. Thank you. Do you see anything happening, Charlotte? It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Yeah. All right, now stay back. It is melting. So the so the aluminum is reacting with the sodium hydroxide solution to produce hydrogen gas. Okay, now I'm gonna take this out to stop the reaction. Okay, but you can see that the aluminum is actually bubbling. It's reacting with the sodium hydroxide solution and it created hydrogen gas there. So when I took it out of the solution though, it slowed down that reaction to the point where it's pretty much stopped. Okay. So now we showed you on a smaller scale what happens when we mix water, sodium hydroxide, and aluminum together. Those react and we get hydrogen gas production. So now we're gonna do it on a larger scale and we're gonna try to catch that hydrogen gas or trap the hydrogen gas in a balloon. So we're gonna inflate the balloon with hydrogen and hope that we can create a flying balloon. All right, so I've asked Charlotte to step outside of the lab because this is a little bit dangerous and I don't recommend doing this at home. Please just watch this video, see what happens here um, on our channel. But again, this is one of those experiments that we don't recommend you do at the house. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a uh, sodium hydroxide solution that I'm gonna add to the flask. I'm gonna take our 200 milliliters of water that we have here in a beaker and I'm gonna add a sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to mix that up to create our sodium hydroxide solution here. All right, and then I'm going to add our sodium hydroxide solution to the flask. 
All right, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and I'm gonna create some aluminum foil balls that we can add into the flask. Now, the more aluminum that you add to this solution, the longer the reaction is going to take place and the more hydrogen that we're gonna create. All right, so once I add the aluminum to our solution, this will start the reaction. Um, now, this is an exothermic reaction, which means it will generate some heat. To get started, I'm gonna add the aluminum, put the balloon on top to capture that hydrogen, and we'll get going. Here we go. So our reaction has been going for a while now. And this is actually the second balloon that we inflated with that amount of aluminum that we put in here. So I'm gonna take this off of the bottle now and try to see if I could tie this balloon off and then we'll test it and see if it will float. All right, there you go guys. There is a flying balloon that we inflated with hydrogen, not helium. So we created a flying balloon using hydrogen gas. What do you think? Cool. Is that pretty cool? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you would like to see us do next on Mystery Lab. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. If you're new to the channel and you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.